on YouTube I am back with another video it's been a while since I posted I've been like kind of fighting these allergies man these California allergies are crazy man but back to the cut we're doing a seven on top we're going against the grain my clients hair kind of grows in different directions in the back right there so we got to go left to right always go against the grain I washed his hair because he had he says he didn't have any product but I don't know it's his, his hair has like has some type of you know texture to it you know I, I don't know it, it's just very it's weird his hair is weird but shampooed his hair make sure that everything was all clean you know and all you know nice and smooth so we're doing a, a seven against the grain we have the lever all the way open I just want to see what it does and then I close it all the way up to give it all evenly uh, I think a seven is too long. I always tell my client, hey man, do a six, but hey, it's his own hair. He can do what he wants to do. We're gonna bald out the back. We're gonna have our, I don't even know what these are called, man. What are these called oh the saber using the sabers to ball out the back i'm doing a high taper so i'm gonna make my ball line right underneath the bottom of the ear make sure that that ball line is straight and um make sure you're all clean all nice and smooth you know all the hairs and then come in with your balders uh also use a uh, use balders or trimmers that don't irritate the client's skin i i've have i've seen a lot of barbers that they make a ball line and it you can tell that it irritates the skin. You don't want to do that. Y'all. You want to make your client as as comfortable as they can be in your chair, and you don't want them to have no pains or anything. You know, I'm you know I'm just saying that. Like I've had that happen to me too. So <clears throat> just letting you know from experience. You know, so just ball them out, and uh, we're on to the next step. video we are going to be using our JRL clippers I've explained this in one of my videos before I do like them so you're gonna get the you know the full experience of how they cut so we're making our first guy line with a lever all the way open we're making the guy line about an inch to a half an inch maybe a finger's width maybe a little bit a little bit you know bigger than the finger's width I think so I like making my guidelines big because I like to stretch out the blend. That's just my personal preference. If you guys want to keep the blend tight, then obviously make the guideline much you know smaller. So we are closing it up, taking out that bottom line we made with our liners. Close it up, use the corner of the blade just to flick out. Or you're gonna use the corner, you don't want to use the full blade because you have more precision when you use the corner of the blade. Then we open it up to halfway and then we go open. We play with the lever a lot just to make sure that we want to make the blend pop. So use the corners, play with it, take out any dark spots necessary. I say this in most of my videos, it's very repetitive, but that's that's haircutting, man. That's cutting hair is repetitive you no know, action. So use the corners of it. If you see any dark spots, close it up the corner. Use it. It's like a like a pencil. You're just trying to erase something. You know, you want to kind of get it you know, precise. Now that we are finished off with the first step, I'm going to make another guy line with my one guard. I'm going to do another fingers width to an inch. Uh, as soon as I get to the top where I want to stop at, I flick out. I don't want to make another hard line, so I just flick out. Um, so use the corners to make it, you know, as straight as possible and um, flick out again. Like I always say flick out, flick out. So brush the hair, flick out, and then yeah i mean like i said it's very repetitive man I'm, I'm i don't i don't mean to like sound like a you know a broken record or whatever but uh my steps are very simple to me you know it's just like it's just second nature when i cut hair i, I don't even think about what i'm doing i just you know, do it you know? so so now that we did that one guard we're gonna do a one and a half to take out the bulk above that area 
So when we get there, we're flicking out again. Just flick out, flick out. Um, you can tell it, it's not really making like a big difference, but when you're when you're out there, you know, cutting it, you, you'll be able to see when you, when you do it. So just one and a half. And then eventually we're going to come in with our clipper over comb and just take out the rest of the bolt. So we have our clipper over comb and we're just our clipper comb, not clipper over comb. We're clipper over combing, but it's our clipper comb. We have a clipper comb and whatever hair I see that's poking out when I, I comb the hair through it. That's the part I'm taking out. I do go out, I do go up like a like an up motion. Some people go from side motion from right here. I'm doing an up motion because you're basically using it as like another guard. So when you put the hair through the comb, boom, 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 you take it out. It's like a you know, like another guard, but it's a faster way to cut hair. I use clipper over comb for every haircut. Um, if necessary. It's probably one of the best techniques to cut hair because it saves you so much time, you know? So what you want to do, you go at a certain angle with your clipper comb and then whatever hair you see poking out, you want it boom, boom, boom at the bottom of it, not at the top. Because if you do, if you get all the hair up top, you could potentially pat somebody and you don't want to do that. So just be careful when you do clipper over comb. It's, a, it's more of an advanced technique, but once you get it down, it's game changing. Like for real, game changing. So now in this step, we have our zero zero guard and we're gonna take out that bottom line. I have my lever all the way open to see if it lightens it up in any type of way. And then I end up closing it halfway, lighten up even more. And then I play with the levers if necessary to make uh, certain areas uh, lighter or, you know, I can't make them darker, so lighter. So you wanna play with the lever halfway open, close, Use the corner of your blades to, to make that contrast pop and uh, use the corner though, use the corner. to the side taper we're going to repeat the same exact steps that we did in the back balled out with the we're doing a high taper this time so we're not going to do the hooks so we're just taking out the hooks the war i don't know how to explain it i mean i think that's how it is you just take out the hooks you're just fading out the hook so you just bolt it out i mean if you guys don't really know the um the difference of a high low or mid taper please let me know but i can explain it to you right now and high taper is basically there's no hooks no hooks to it you just fade out the hooks if you know the, the hook you know line up hook a mid taper i mean it just depends on what a uh, mid taper you want some people get it with you know no hooks some people get it with hooks so mid taper is more you know it's kind of self-explanatory mid and then a low taper you have the hooks you just do it lower than you just make the ball line lower so use your boulders right here to make it all smooth and everything same steps as before guys same steps as before have our lever all the way open make a guideline about an inch half an inch um, use the corners there around the ear especially around the ear guys you kind of want to make it like a, a certain angle uh, on the ear kind of because if you make it the same length throughout the entire thing it's just going to make like see my i have a problem doing this guy so when I make my gu my guideline, I kind of make it kind of far in the back, so it kind of makes it like a burst. I try not to do that, guys. So uh, now we're just closing up the lever, have the lever all the way closed, try to take out as much dark spots as po possible. Close it up halfway, open it. Just play with it a lot, you guys. Um, the side tapers are very easy for me because uh, sometimes, because most of the time, most of the time, people have lighter hair on the sides so it makes it so much easier to cut hair you know it, it makes it easier to blend makes it easier to make guidelines etc so we have our one guard we're do following the guideline that we made previous uh we're doing basically the same type of uh loop or curve 
uh, you know, you, you can see like the taper, how it's going to come together. So we have a one guard making the same exact step as before. Kind of like broken record just talking guys. <laughs> this is going on and on, but yeah. And then uh, eventually we're just going to end up closing it up or uh, doing a zero guard, taking out this part and then one and a half, you know, but I, I'll just stick to what I'm talking about right now. So what's next guys? I'm just talking, talking guys, talking. <laughs> so we have the one and a half, yeah. And just taking out that dark spots, just, you know, taking off the weight up on top. And uh, yeah, just make sure you use the corners and you flick out, make sure you flick out. And then uh, once we do this, we're gonna come in with our clipper over comb like we did in the back. It's the same exact step, y'all, same exact step. Take our clipper comb and just take out any of the, you know, the bulk on the sides and this and that. Pretty easy to do on it's pretty that was pretty quick guys huh that was really quick that's probably like probably like three minutes a three minute process so for the last part of this taper on the side we are going to close up the lever and have our zero guard just to make the blend pop so now we're just using the corners i should be brushing the head right now i don't know why i'm not doing it yep there it goes there it goes there it goes <laughs> yeah so just use your corners of your blades and um make sure that all the dark spots are out you know you just want to pick pick at it just pick at it the um the detail work you don't gotta really make it perfect right now at the end that's when you want to do the detail work and make it all you know nice and crisp just take out all the dark spots but for right now you're just it's a rough draft and then once you add the line then it's the final draft so oh yeah so now i guess i am doing some type of detail now i'm not doing the detail work i am just cleaning up the you know that the dark spot up there because it's uh some guards you know most guards are all the time guards aren't going to do what they're supposed to do so you got to just improvise and take out dark spot so the most important part for most people is the lineup so you can see my client has a very big you know widow's peak right here so we're just going to start at the highest point of his hairline and then you know make it straight from there so i'm starting from the middle and i'm working my way from the right and i go from the left um some some people use it a different way some people do hairlines or lineups a different way in the front I like doing it from the middle and then more working my way from you know left to right because I have that base already and then once I make that straight I, I align the left side with the right side and then it's just much simpler and you don't got to worry about one side being higher than the other like you know what I'm saying? some people start from the left and they go to the middle and then you're like dang man I actually kind of pushed him back on that side so yeah so I just use the middle as a as a high point and then make it all even and straight from there
hey thank you guys for watching my videos videos about wrapped up don't forget to like comment subscribe also follow me on my socials arlen K, on everything so thank you guys again peace and love baby stay tuned for the next video hope y'all enjoyed this one i'm out